On Monday, November 29th, Cabinet approved the National Transport and Logistics Policy. If well implemented, this new plan could revolutionize Uganda's transport infrastructure. The policy seeks to end the high dependence on roads by developing other infrastructure like water. The Minister for Works and Transport, General Katumba Wamala, has today briefed journalists on the key functions and issues which the policy will address. So the policy mission is to provide reliable, safe, efficient and effective transport infrastructure and services that benefit all people, all people, including people with disabilities, because these are some of the some things which they have been missing in some of the, our policies where people with disability are not accommodated. And uh, all people and contribute to all to the social and economic development. Uganda has borrowed inspiration from neighboring Kenya to develop the new infrastructure plan. But aside from improving competitiveness, promoting local companies and private investment, the minister highlights the overarching need to provide safe transport. We are among the highest accident-prone countries, and that should change. So with the policy has proposed plans to reduce this number by three thirds in the next 10 years and make our transport services more secure in the continent. The new policy intends to push regional integration of transport services, an agenda which President Yoram Museveni likes to speak of. With this policy, the government of Uganda will, have, will, have, will harmonize its transport services with our neighbors. We have already seen this happening, for example, with our neighbor Kenya, because of the delay of the standard gauge railway uh, between us and them linking to the standard gauge railway, Kenya has decided to rehabilitate the meter gauge railway from Naivasha to Maraba, and we are also joining the rehabilitation. So our meter gauge railway from Maraba to Kampala is under rehabilitation now. Government is now finalizing both the National Integrated Transport Master Plan and National Express Master Plan, both to be used in implementing the policy. Bernadette Apio for CTV, PM Edition.